Hi there, Troy here. Thank you very much, Chris, for putting this GoFundMe page together. Uh, when I saw it, I thought, oh, I better make it a little bit more personal and make a bit of connection. I'm Troy Logan. I live here on the Gold Coast. So I'm shooting this as we sort of walk around. Love the Gold Coast. So I'm the CEO of Smooch It. So what's Smooch It? So we're basically set up to help people get promo videos and ads so they can find online success. So we've built a marketplace. So on one side of the marketplace, we've got freelancers. The other side, we've got businesses and we're matching those two together to make really cool sales driving videos. So a um, bit about my story for the last year and a half I've been living in and out of my car I was divorced got two kids so I've sort of been doing a little bit tough you know bootstrapping a a startup with no cash is hard but I've really got a lot of runs on the board we've actually got the marketplace up so I've got a team of developers in India and slowly but surely I put the marketplace up so you can go to smoochit.net and have a look at what we've done there so we're just sort of at the moment, it's, we've really got to get it out there. So we've got to um, execute a marketing plan. We've got to make, we've got to get more freelancers on the platform and we've got to tell businesses what we're doing and why they should get a video. So I'm all about as a marketer, what problem are we solving? So it's very hard for businesses to do everything now. There's so much to do. But look, I just think success online is pretty simple. You make one really cool video and then you find out how to get that in front of your target audience. And when you do, success will follow. So obviously it's not that straightforward, but uh, I think it's a great start. You can always look at the Shaver Club. They created a great video and then off the back of that, they got like 12,000 subscribers. But what they did do was have a great offer. So I'm really passionate about helping businesses out. And I think, you know, there's four or five videos that every business should be using. And I want to train the freelancers in that structure and then make sure that business people can come to the site and get those videos and help them get online and find success. So thanks, guys. Whatever you can do to help with this campaign is really appreciated. Uh, really excited about getting this going and, we'd, and we're, we're, you know, I'm just really happy that um, Chris put this together and we can sort of get it out there and get on with the job. So thank you very much and bye for now. Trying to see outside. Not really working, that's the view today. Hi. Going to basketball just over there, so I just thought I'd sleep here. This is saved me driving to Narang in the morning, which is pretty cool. So I'm pretty pumped about this GoFundMe campaign, but I realise that I've got to get some publicity or else nothing's going to happen with it. So it's time to beat the drum and get moving. So it's exciting. Uh, just got to take things to the next level. Okay, just finished basketball, going into surface to see Sam from Euros. So I've been doing a little bit of work, putting some menus together and running a few errands for Sam. So he's a cool guy. Let me show you a little bit of their food. I took a little bit of video yesterday. Check this out. Waiting for this old MacBook Pro to fire up. And we're gonna fix that menu. I'll just show you that menu. Give you a walk through of the place. It's nice and clean. Lazo's the import from uh, Melbourne. He's here, help Sam out. He's a good operator. You can see here we've got drinks, we've got everything. Happy days. How are you going, mate? Good, good. What do you think about being on the Gold Coast now, rocking it out? The best, it's the best, yeah? The best, yeah. Sun, wet weather, women, food. Yes. No rain, no rain. You don't want rain. <laughs> Nobody wants rain. <laughs> don't bring the rain from Melbourne. No, no, not at all. So I'm just going into the um, Mark Shopping Centre here. 
to see Daryl. So Daryl's a um, local business guy who's putting some things together. Actually, he did a little appearance in one of the videos, but I did say, hey, it's not your time, Daryl. So we'll go, it's his time now, so we'll go up and say hi, see if he's there anyway. <laughs> what are you doing here? What's happening? What's happening on Friday? What's happening on Friday? Yeah. It's, uh, thank God it's Friday. Yes. <laughs> well, we're working on a little bit of an alliance thing and it sounds like I'm going to be chipping in a few ideas for you guys as well. <laughs> yeah. Cut. So is there a, what? <laughs> too, uh, too, no, too early, mate, too early. He hasn't trademarked anything yet. Too early, mate, yeah, exactly. Julie, give me a scoop here at what's going on here. Oh, well, you've got to listen to the man. Or like See, they did the two-step on me here. They were disclosing nothing. There was nothing. Like, there was no scoop I could get here. Scoop's coming next week. Next week, there'll be what's a scoop. This space? But I'll be involved in this because there'll be a few things that um, I'm consulting on that they may need my expertise. So I'm looking forward to when this whole thing launches, getting it off the ground. Oh, he's talking again, is he? <laughs> we'll make sure it's not another surface paradise promise. And I'm, I'm in on this deal. <laughs> A surface paradise promise. Lots is happening around, but they're not um, giving any information. I'm getting escorted off the premises. Oh, rough, <laughs> rough handling here. Look, this is like a nightclub. I'm getting bounced out. Hang on, it's <laughs> All right, I'll you see you. Yeah. I'll see you guys soon, yeah? See you Bye. Bye. Yeah. Oh, well, there we go. Let's go meet, um, I've got a friend. Jason's in town. Let's go meet him. He, I think he's down here at the avenue. Let's go see. There he is from hey. Sydney, all nighter. Yo, you. Hey, mate. Good boy, how are you? Good. Bump it. You going all right? Good, good to good, see good. you, yeah. How are you? I can't shoot much here because I've got the music going, so I'm just going to have to cut it right there. So I'm here with Sam in front of the shop. We're just getting this menu on the board. We're having a little trouble getting it up there, but... Which one? It's going to be on the USB key. So... Get that, we need to get that menu up there. The TV's giving us a bit of trouble, so... Yeah, you, you need to go into the file for format or play movie or something. I picked these boys up from school and look what I'm picking up. Dirty, look, all the colour all over on his hair. Whoa. And another one. Another dirty little pig. Dirty pig. Dirty pig. All right, boys, back to mama, huh? Here, give me a kiss. Mwah. I'll get your bag. Kurt, you going all right in the back there? These boys are a bit dirty. I wasn't able to get that menu working. Damn, don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm going to have to go back in and try and fix it. Holy shit, look at this seat. Unbelievable. Uh, I've just dropped the boys off. Now the boys are talking about putting some money. They, it was all they're doing. They want to put some money on the Broncos versus the Storm. Could be madness because if you know the history of those two teams, the Storm have crushed uh, Brisbane. But Brisbane, are, there's been a bit of a resurgence. Resurgence. Brisbane are on fire lately. They've won seven in a row. I mean, it's, there's a good chance their running streak's going to run out tonight, but it's like, it's almost five to one, so... Shall we put a little bet? The boys want to go, the boys want to put $25 in, and then I'll just do it to participate, but I'm not a big gambler at all, but I'll do it. I'm going to put 50 bucks on the Broncos to beat the Storm. Let's go. Just where I park, I'm just about to go and do some magic. Where I park is the TAB. So let's walk in there and have a bit of a look, yeah? See if we can win some Mueller money. Whoa, bye, ah. Looks like I just missed it. Closed. Closed, like I was gonna go in there, bet my life savings on the Broncos, $50. 
all right. So maybe that was a sign not to not to gamble. I feel like a bit of a bite to eat first before I start work. I've been having a few curries here at the uh, crackling chicken. The Indian team have got it going on here. Let's go see. Hello. Can I get a um, half and half? Thank you. <clears throat> so I'm off to work. I just did a quick change. But, um, the boys are putting a wager bet on the Broncos to beat the Storm. They did it from their house. Apparently they dropped $68. So it's probably my bad influence to get them to do that. I didn't realize they'd do it themselves, but they've done it. So we'll keep an eye to see how the Broncos go tonight against the Storm. They're probably playing in Melbourne as well, which will make it even harder. Be freezing down there, those Broncos. Oh my goodness, they wanna have the full strength. I wonder if um, Reynolds is playing. I know he injured his rib last week and then you've got um, a few, that one of those young players is out. But I think we've got a pretty good team. If H Payne Huss is back in it, that'll help. All right, go the Broncos tonight. And I'll go do a bit of work now. See you soon. I'm out doing the magic, but it's one of those nights and just wrestling with everyone out here tonight. Um, there's a few people in here. All right, let's see how the footy's going with the boys. I think it's 10 minutes into the game. Check when I get in. Forward! Bloody forward! Um, All right, I just spoke to Jake, and he shouldn't be gambling anyway, but he lost his money. He bet, he bet too much. But anyway, he lost it, and I don't think he's keen to lose it again. So, anyway done a bit of magic uh, been a bit of a long day so I'm just about, I'm happy to get in the car and crash all right ciao